and wellity wellity welcome folks welcome to a bit of a different video because this isn't a let's play or a freaky game friday i just want to really show you a glitch i guess you could say and it's a glitch that not a lot of people seem to know about not a lot of video i've actually i think that actually come to think of it, are there actually videos of it in youtube i think i checked there was like one from like five years ago but i didn't have a lot of views so i can only assume not a lot of people know about this but anyway getting off topic I'm going to show you a glitch for one of my favorite games of all time, Tomb Raider 3. And this can be done, oh, this is on the American version of the game, but it can be done on the European version because I've done it on my disc copy. This is a ROM copy, long story short. Uh, basically, anyway, this is the two headed Lara glitch and the Desert e and it also is the Desert Eagles and Uzis in the tutorial house level glitch. So yeah, that means you can have guns in the tutorial level. This will be fun. So what we need to do is, we need to start a new game. And measures you, if you've played Tomb Raider 3, you should know you start off in the India level with those monkeys that you can shoot and are so much fun to shoot. Call me a masochist. Anyway, first thing we need to do is to do the all weapons, medkits, flares, and save crystals code. Now I'm going to be reading out the code for you, so we need to go L2, R2, R2, L2, 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 R2, L2, R2, R2, L2, R2, R2, L2, L2, R2, L2, L2, R2. That scream means that the cheat has worked, and as you can see, got all of the guns that we could ever want add our flares and our medkits and save crystals. Anyway, now we need to do the level skip code, which is, and I'm only going to say it this once because if I say it every time it's going to look annoying to you people, it is L2, R2, L2, L2, R2, L2, R2, L2, R2, L2, 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 R2, L2, L2, R2, L2, L2. And I did it wrong apparently. Let me try that again without the speaking. There we go. Uh, normally she would say no, but I don't know if it's just a European thing, but the loading bar means that we did skip the level. We don't need to worry about the cutscene, it's got nothing to do with the plot. Well, not with the, well, it does have something to do with the plot, but it's got nothing to do with our cheat. Okay, we don't need the save. Now the goal of this is that we need to level skip all the way to the level selection screen. Which, if you've played Tomb Raider 3, you know is after you've done the... Egypt level, not Egypt level, I'm not talking about the India level. So we're just going to be level skipping through everything. Maybe one day I'll do a let's play of Tomb Raider 3. It is a great game and I actually do have the original Prima strategy guide over there on my shelf, which you cannot see because you're watching a video. Bought it up for £2. Suck at 9 RRP. Okay, I think we've got two more levels to skip and then we're good. Like my little hum in there. Anyway, we're getting to the final level skip that we need to do. Oh la di da, gotta love all these loading screens. And let's try it very quickly. Let's go do do. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, four. Boom. And that means it loads a fancy FMV cutscene, because those are always amazing. But we don't need to pay attention to that. Because now we are going to get to the globe that we want. Look at that. Be it nine seconds. Tell you, we're going for a speed record. Anyway, we need to go to London. Very important that you go to London. Because I believe the, the code only works when you're in London, because you need to, well, as you'll see, um, we need to kill ourselves, basically. And the best way to do that is to simply... Whee! <laughs> Gotta love that crunchy noise. Anyway, now, we've done that, we exit the title. 
once it's done all loading. Funny thing, the American title screen and the European title screen look nothing alike. It's weird. Anyway, go, we go into Lara's home, and, as you shall see, everything is going to be very different. Oh, by the way, this is the best part of Tomb Raider 3. The manor, well, the Croft Manor. Anyway, as you can see, Lara has two ponytails. And if we back ourselves into a wall, well, try and back ourselves into a wall. Come on. Well, as you can see there, look. She's got two heads. And one of them is permanently in an angry state. See if we can... Look at that. That is... First time I saw this glitch, blew my mind because I didn't believe this would actually, you know, be real. Let's try and back up to a corner. Oh, there we go. See? Looking to the side and looking to the front. That is just amazing. Anyway, you're probably not here just to see two heads, you're here to see the guns, because... Yeah, not only do we start off with our pistols and some save game crystals, we get metapacks, flares, and all the guns. But it's very important to note, if you pick any gun other than the pistols, the Desert Eagle, and the Uzis, if you pick anything else, so say for example you pick the MP5, the game, your hands will start just flailing around and you won't be able to pick any guns whatsoever, so be warned of that. So, if I show you first, let's go, oh, tell you what, just to show you for a point of comparison, let's go with the regular pistols. As you can see, all regularly and pistol-like. Now, if we go to the Desert Eagle, that's when things start to get weird because Yep, she just pulls out her thigh. Look at that. And she doesn't really aim as she so much just flails her arm around and bullets come out. Look, she even does it in water. Let me put our thigh back in. Come on, jump up. Pull up. There you go. Actually, drop. Let's want to check something. Okay, whoop. Oh, no, didn't want to do it. Anyway, so we've got that. Now let's show off the Uzis, because now, these ones you can actually aim. We pull out two thighs with guns attached to them, which are just amazing. And then... Feel free to take a look around. Be quiet, Lara. Rawr! Now, I know what you're thinking. The very first thing which everybody wanted to do, can you kill the what? butler? Shut up, Lara. Anyway, let's see what happens if we try and shoot the butler. Because if you, because as you know, if you get the guns down by the obstacle course, by the time he comes back outside, he's wearing a bulletproof vest and a helmet. But now, ah! Look at that—he's got blood spewing out of him, and he is unfazed by this. This does not bother him in the slightest. Alright. Also, yeah, look at that. Can you see Lara's fighter? She's got a... Yeah, look. She's got a gun stuck up, her stuck up her behind. I would use a harsh word, but I'm a gentleman. Anyway. No, come on, side shimmy. What's the side shimmy button? Let's go with your side shimmy. There we go. Because I've been playing a lot of Tomb Raider 1, and that's got a regular side shimmy. Just one more bonus thing I thought I'd show you while, you know, I'm in the gardens and everything. Because there's one glitch that a lot of people know about, and it's quite amazing. But for that we need to go to the obstacle course. And while a lot of people may have shown off this glitch, I bet you they ain't shown it with two-headed Lara. With five guns! That's just amazing. No, don't need to go that way, can't just... Yeah, jump. Wee! 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 Yeah, I don't remember this game being so letterboxed. Maybe it's just because I used to play it on an old tube TV, or it's because I do European copy, or whatever. Let's see how quickly the assault course anyway, we need to run the, ass the assault course. Well, we don't re really need to run it, but... It helps if we run it, I guess. Okay. Well, we failed. Anyway, off we go. Because we need to run to the zip line. Which is just around the corner. Because that's when the glitchy fun happens. 
Yeah, combat roll. Anyway, we need to jump up here and climb. Yeah. Up we go. 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 Shimmy along. Shimmy along. Shimmy along. And hook ourselves up. And if I'm right. Now, the important thing is we need to keep walking during this, and we need to face this corner. And then, just keep jumping. Eventually, if it doesn't work the first three times, turn it a little bit to the side. And then, eventually, it should... There we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Betcha you didn't expect to see that today. You can, in fact, jump up here. Now, you can also jump onto this random red square. Now, can I make this jump work, is the question. Because if I'm... because if I can make it work, we can get up onto that roof. But if I can't make it work, we're just gonna fall to our deaths, and I'm not gonna bother to redo this or anything, because, you know, this ain't the glitch we're meant to be looking at. Anyway, let's go! Oh god. Pull! And jump! Phew, landed in the water. Well, let's try it from the other... Well, should we try it from the other direction? Let's try it from the other direction, see what happens. Who knows, maybe we'll make it onto the wall. So this has just been a general, you know, Tomb Raider 3 glitches sort of video. Not good. There are different ones you can do, like the, like there's one where you stand in a certain wall, and if you keep jumping at it, eventually you'll pull yourself into the wall, and that's kind of cool, but I can't really pull that one off because I suck. But, as we, as I have shown you, I do know some things about, glitch, about glitches. And the question is, would you guys and gals and people of androgynous sexuality, I'm not here to judge, would you be interested in seeing more glitch videos sort of like this? Just me kind of on the spot, just doing whatever I find. Come on, get up there. Come on, you can do it. Just take a step back. Turn a little more, step forward, and hoop. So yeah, would this be something you'd be more interested in doing? Just say in the comments below and tell me if you would. I'll find more games with fun glitches in them. Probably of this fancy PS2, PS1 era sort of thing. Because, as we all know, the PS2 is the greatest console ever to exist. No question. And come on, up. Or it could just fall. <laughs> that works as well. Ah, what the hell, why not? I think it seems as a good place to end, and you know, since we're here, where's the, where's the, is he gonna come? No, he isn't. Yeah. Yeah, didn't expect you to do this on target practice, did they? Yeah. This is how you blitz a target range. You bring the bring a big guns out. And now straight run for the finish. And whoop. So yeah, I have been Grandmaster Scott Hay. She has been Two-Headed Lara. And this has been Tomb Raider 3. I thank you so very, 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 very much for watching. Adios.